So we've just gone toe to toe with one of the best league teams in the league. Well, one of the best teams in the league at the moment, in form as well. How good does it feel to come away with the point and also lift ourselves off the bottom of the table? Um, it's incredible because you know Emma's built a fantastic team. The the quality in that squad, and we've seen it. We knew it, we, it was what, probably going to be one of our tough opponents that we faced so far. So we knew we had to be so disciplined out of possession to deal with it. I think the pitch helped us a little bit today. Um, but to be fair, we helped ourselves in the way that we conducted ourselves through every moment of the game. Um, to get ourselves ahead, obviously, we, we conceded, but we didn't get deflated. And it was about making sure, if you, if you don't, if you can't win the game, don't lose it. And we didn't lose it today. It, we, we were outstanding. Um, I think Rinzola, I'll sing her praises probably for the rest of the day because her out of possession work rate was fantastic. And she really did stick to the game plan. And it helps us then build momentum on the counter attack. So I thought she was a real handful for Millie Bright. Um, but again, I'm just really pleased with the team in general and the subs that came on to, to make sure that we didn't go away empty-handed. Yeah, and obviously we get the early goal through New Charles, a bit of a scramble in the box, but she's done the score sheet a few times recently especially. How important is it to sort of see and how, how pleased are you for her? I'm pleased for her because she I know her goals that she sets for herself. She's a she's a real driven individual. Um, and one of her one of her goals that she set is to, to be one of the top goal scorers in, in our team. And I think she's working away to become yeah. that. She's so determined when she gets into the box. Um, I'm just delighted that we found the back of the net again. Yeah. You know, it was it was a bit scrambling, but at the end of the day, you've got to be able to have that determination to get on the end of it and, and find the back of the net. And Neve's done that now in the past couple of games, so really pleased for her. Um, and then we've had other opportunities with Rins um, getting herself in on goal towards the end. We could have maybe took three points, but um, we're just really delighted with the point because it's important now we, we sit second to the bottom um, and we're not at the bottom, so that's a good way to go into our Christmas break. Um, obviously, Lolly comes off and played through the second half. Was that tactical or was that injury? Because um, you saw her limping a little bit. Yeah, she, she's been struggling a little bit. So we've been managing her, so we didn't play her against Durham. Um, so it, she, she'll look forward to a little break just to, mm -hmm. to offload her off a day because she's she didn't play many minutes last season and now she's been playing 90 minutes nearly yeah. off every game. So so it was a little bit of wear and tear. So we had to manage her. We didn't want to risk her too much. And Courtney came in and did a fantastic job working so hard out of possession for us. And, the thing is, when you're in that position and when they're throwing Millie Bright up front and they're pushing players <laughs> forwards and they're going to a back three, you know you're really up against it. So we can't afford to anybody for anybody not to be given 110% and be at their physical best. So we looked at the loading as well, the physical data, and, and Mel's obviously was decreasing, so we could see it was having an impact on her. So we needed to get her off to, to get some some fresh legs on. That was yeah. the reason, really. And obviously, four goals now throughout the whole of the week. Obviously, it's been a tough week in terms of how many games there's yeah. been. Four goals went through a patch of kind of not being able to find the back and how good is it for you to come away from this week and be like, we're now scoring goals, we're now pushing forward, we're now causing problems for other teams. How, how important is that to you? Um, I think the last three weeks, every single week, every single game, we've took steps forwards from, from Arsenal. Yeah. We didn't really look like we were going to score against Arsenal apart from set pieces. You know, we, we missed that set piece early on, we could have gone one up. City, we did look like we could score second half, certainly second half, so that yeah. was the pleasing thing. And then we've gone against West Ham, we've got a point. And I thought we could have won the game easily in the second half with, with the amount of attacks that we created. Durham was great to get goals and people get on the score sheet. And I think today it was about, right, we've got to make sure that we're, we're making sure we take the sting out of their attack, but we're creating our own as well and letting mm -hmm. them fear us a little bit. I think we did that really well today. And then, you know, the leaders on the pitch, Nephi and Sophie Brelli have been, Auckland have been fantastic in terms of game management. Let's control this and let's take a point from Chelsea. Yeah, obviously Christmas break now. What, what can we expect from you and your team coming into the second half of the season now? I think the girls need a well-deserved break. Yeah. So they'll go and spend time with their families. Um, they'll have a home programme that they'll have to stick to and, and make sure they're still coming back in a good physical state. Um, and then they have to tune in with us so that they ever done everything that they're doing so we can monitor them. Yeah. So they're not having too much of a good time. And then we're back in on the 28th um, and we've got to make sure we're ready and prepared for Brighton. But I think this is a real good uh, stamp for us because Chelsea are one of the best teams in the league and you can see that with the class that they, they play with. So we've got to make sure we, we pull on all the positives. We make sure we're consistent with them and we go on and, and take on Brighton in the new year. Perfect, thank you. Have a good Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>